be offering my insights and personal experiences along the way as we dive into the intersections of race and public service. I can't think of anything more rewarding than public service. We're trying to create an organization that serves everyone. Exactly. Through public service. When you hear the phrase public service, what comes to mind? Maybe senators, city council members, but what about student volunteers? Also, what issues that our communities and society face today are these public servants helping to solve? Finally, maybe you've wanted to help with some of these issues, but you just didn't know where to start. Hi, my name is Ellis. I'm an intern on the Weldon Cooper Center for Public Service Media Team. One of our core values here at the Cooper Center is accessibility, meaning that high quality information about public service should be able to meet you at home, on your daily commute, or even when you're procrastinating on homework. Don't worry, we won't tell your professor. That's why we created our podcast, Intersections in Public Service. Intersections in Public Service explores the many facets of public service, from bipartisanship. Bipartisanship just requires a lot of hard work. And to the extent personal friendships can be invoked and brought in, all the better, because they're often the grease on the wheel that gets it through. To literature. In Transylvania, Count Dracula is um, is a given. Is, is everyone knows what he is? He is a terrible landlord. He's a predator, but he's certainly not a <laughs> sinister monstrosity that um, kind of hides in the metropolis. We'll also examine current events through a public service lens. As we are all very much aware. The coronavirus has fundamentally changed the ways in which we go about our lives and perform day-to-day tasks. The coronavirus has also introduced a number of challenges for election offices across the country. In 2020, the governor of Virginia signed the Virginia Clean Economy Act. The main part of this is establishing a renewable portfolio standard, which states that Dominion has to be 100% carbon-free by 2045, and Appalachian Power must provide 100% carbon-free power by 2050. Finally, we'll see how everyone can get inspired to serve the public good. Nothing beats collective action. Meet up with people who believe in the same things that you have come to believe in on the basis of information, on the basis of reading and learning, and work with them. Miles of Freedom, M-I-L-E-S, is motivating, inspiring, law-abiding, enthusiastic, and successful. So more than my last name, it's what we aspire individuals to be. Listen to Intersections in Public Service on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your preferred podcast platform. Thanks so much.